a royal expert has weighed in as speculation continues to grow, suggesting King Charles could make Zara Tyndall a princess. Zara, 43, the daughter of Princess Anne, was not given the title as a child after her mother declined the offer from Queen Elizabeth II. Instead, the Princess Royal wanted Zara and her brother Peter to go through life without their royal heritage weighing on them. However, rumors have been swirling that Zara could now gain a title, as she has been very supportive to the king after he was diagnosed with cancer earlier this year. She was even spotted greeting the king with a smile and a warm embrace as they met at the Windsor Horse Show last month. Daily Mail Diary editor Richard Eden, however, thinks Zara becoming a princess would be very unlikely. Speaking on the Palace Confidential podcast, he said, We all love Zara and we've seen her quite a lot. We saw her at the Buckingham Palace Garden Party supporting her cousin Prince William and it's something that would be popular. Her and Mike Tyndall are very popular members of the royal family, but I think it is very unlikely to happen. She's very busy, has lots of business and it would be awkward. Daily Mail royal editor Rebecca English agrees. She added, it won't happen. I mean she has obviously a very full life as a you know professional equestrian with a lot of sports sponsorships. There's not actually a carved out role for her financially, you'd then have to create a role, would the king have to support her financially? Personally, I suspect he would if he did that. English says Zara can be expected to attend more palace functions and state banquets when her cousin Prince William becomes king. The Mail on Sunday's Charlotte Griffiths says William and Zara have a really deep bond that could see her playing a big part in his future monarchy. She added, William really trusts her and loves her, you can just tell they have a really deep bond, and I think he trusts her more than any of his other cousins. And it's such a delicious irony, isn't it? That Shush is the one who had the HRH taken away at birth by Anne and has emerged as the most natural, most relaxed, most trustworthy members of that extended royal garden party pack. Griffiths concluded Zara is doing a great job and may not actually want to have the princess title bestowed on her. Zara herself once spoke about not being given the title at birth. She said, we were very lucky that we got to do it a bit our own way.